You know that feeling when you forget everything else and only the moment exists. You're so focused in what you're doing that every action you take flows effortless. You're in touch with all your abilities and you're giving all you got. That's what I am to feel every time I go riding. That sense of flow and harmony with the environment. That sense of being in the present. I once heard someone say that life is the most greatest adventure. And for me that felt very true. You never know what's going to happen next. And every time I walked out the door, I wonder what be my adventure this day. I lived in Portugal mostly all my life, surrounded by great landscapes of sea and mountains. And I always felt drawn to be in touch with nature and explore everything she has to offer. I tried mostly all outdoor sports there are, but mountain biking was probably my most intense love affair. Being in two wheels is already one of the greatest feelings there are and it allows you to be in touch with the terrain around you. You feel every bump and you react to it. Just like the river finds its way down to the sea, I try to float my way down the mountain. Needless to say, going downhill is what I like the most. I don't describe myself as a downhill, free ride or cross country rider. There are so many variations of mountain biking and I don't think I fit in any of those. And I just like to challenge myself between the whole variation the sport has to offer. And the Sintra Mountain has plenty of challenges for my amusement. Whenever I just feel like going down some trails, I just pack my bike and gear and there I go. Just have to choose which peak I want to go down, Peninha or Monge. But if I'm really indecisive, the only solution is to go down both. As I reach Peninha Peak, it's time for my first descent. Just have to make the final adjustments of my back and strap everything on. Let's add one of my favorite green lights, Master of Puppets. A good way to warm up and have fun. The first section is a bit more technical with very narrow single tracks and with the ongoing rains recently, it will probably be very muddy with slippery woods. Very North Shore experience. But in my opinion, the whole descent up to Malvera is one of the most flawless trails of Sintra.
up to the final stretch, I can feel the adrenaline pumping. I can really back up some speed and I'm focused only on reacting to the terrain. The ground is soft and my bike flows almost as it was floating. Nothing else exists, and this moment seems to stretch endlessly. And then, suddenly, the trail ends. I rode all the way down, and my thoughts return to me. While catching my breath, I can only think one one thing. <laughs> I want to do that again. After climbing my way back, I head to the next peak, Monch. One of the highest peaks of Sintra. It's shrouded with intense vegetation that gives it a magical appeal. And even though the forest surrounds you everywhere, maybe if I climb up above the tree line, I can have a small peek of the view. There is a long way down, better get going. This time I head down the red line. Bit more technical but also very fun. Kamikaze. I think the name says it all.
Well, I'm at half of the mountain and feeling pretty tired. Maybe just one more section and then I'll head back. You gotta save my energy for the climb back. The next time I promise to go all the way down to Bahajindamula. There are so many trails left to explore and tomorrow is another day. Until then.